Helen Keller was born at Ivy Green in Tuscumbia, Alabama on June 27, 1880. Helen lost her sight and hearing at 19 months to an illness now believed to have been scarlet fever. Her parents hired teacher Ann Sullivan to help Helen learn to communicate. Through Sullivan's extraordinary instruction, Helen learned to understand and communicate with the world around her. She went on to acquire an excellent education and to become an important influence on the treatment of people with disabilities. She was the first deaf-blind person to earn a Bachelor of Arts degree. While pursuing her degree, Helen Keller began her writing career. Authoring a number of articles for magazines, she had 14 books published in her lifetime, including six about her life, starting with her autobiography, The Story of My Life, written at age 21. Her writings included topics such as disability advocacy, socialism, and religion. In 1924, Keller joined the staff of the newly formed American Foundation for the Blind as an advisor and fundraiser. This position led her to travel the world. Her international reputation and warm personality enabled her to enlist the support of many wealthy people. When the AFB established a branch overseas in 1915, it was named Helen Keller International. Throughout her life, Keller devoted her energies to humanitarian pursuits. She was an advocate for people with disabilities, committed to helping people who were blind and deafblind. She was a suffragist, a civil rights activist, and an advocate for workers' rights and child labor laws. In 1920, Keller co-founded the American Civil Liberties Union with American activist Roger Nash Baldwin. By 1937, she had helped organize commissions for the blind in 30 states, beginning with the Massachusetts Commission for the Blind, the nation's first agency to provide services for adults. Widely honored throughout the world and invited to the White House by every U.S. president from Grover Cleveland to Lyndon B. Johnson, Keller transformed the world's perceptions of the capacity of people with disabilities. More than any one act in her long life, her courage, intelligence, and dedication combined to make her a symbol of the triumph of the human spirit. Helen Keller died on June 1, 1968, at age 87. Her life story and numerous accomplishments have impacted generations and continue to inspire us today.